Hello everyone, I'm back again with one of the most discussed about uh, funny mathematics part 3 trick in which we try to prove 1 as equal to 2 and 1 as equal to 3. Uh, you must have seen in trick 14 that we tried and proved these two identities and uh, in doing so we arrived at these two steps where we applied the identity a square minus b square and a cube minus b cube. So many of you commented and uh, so many of you were very near to the right answer but the actual right answer which I desired uh, is uh, something else. So here I go. When we have a factor which is equal to 0 like x minus x is 0 and x minus x is 0 then ultimately everything comes out to be 0 only and we cannot proceed further. 0 is not a factor of any number. So we cannot cancel 0 on both sides. So when I cancelled x minus x as a factor here and arrived at this result x is equal to x plus x, this step is wrong because we cannot cancel zero factor on both sides of any equation. Similarly, when we saw this uh, proof of 1 is equal to 3, here also we had a common factor x minus x on both sides. So it has to become 0 equal to 0. We cannot just cancel this factor and arrive at this result which in turn will give something which is wrong like here we got 1x equal to 2x, x equal to 1 uh, x cancelled out and 1 equal to 2 and here we got x square equal to 3x square cancelled out x square and 1 equal to 3 so these type of results obviously will arise if you cancel out 0 as a factor on both sides another example of this is suppose we have 5 into 0 equal to 7 into 0. Now obviously, 5 into 0 is 0 and 7 into 0 is again 0. So, LHS and RHS are equal. But, if we cancel out 0, 5 equal to 7, it is a crazy result and it is always crazy to cut out zeros on both sides. So, this is what I was looking for in trick number 14. Now, I will demonstrate some multiplication tricks in front of you and I will tell you the detailed method of doing that multiplication in subsequent trick number 16. I am just demonstrating multiplication of a two digit number, a random two digit number by another two digit number in one step without putting that traditional crosses and all. So this is how it goes. That's all. It takes two seconds to multiply two digit number by a two digit number. Another example, say I have 71 and 44, see, that's all, two seconds, three seconds. This method through which I am doing this calculation in one step is one of the most widely used method where this type of multiplication comes in almost every chapter, all calculations you do, multiplications of two digit by two digit. And this method can be extrapolated, increased number of digits also. So you can do this practice on three digit number by two digit number or three digit number by three digit number. And if you practice, you can master multiplying a six digit number by a six digit number, say in a matter of 20-25 seconds only. It just needs basic calculation of additions and very very easy small single digit multiplications. So would you like to do this in one line all these calculations which you have been doing, doing by traditional method? If yes, just look for trick number 16 which will be uploaded in subsequent time. Keep learning, keep enjoying, share and subscribe if you like the video.